Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at creating a pattern that has a lot of different colored elements in it in Photoshop. Before we begin, I have more Photoshop training at Skillshare.com. When you sign up for Skillshare, you get access to thousands of classes there, including over 250 of mine. In the description below is a Skillshare coupon for you, which is at least as good as the current Skillshare offer and typically mine will be better. Please feel free to share this with family and friends. Let's swing back to Photoshop where I have a set of elements that I want to use in my pattern already created. I'm going to create a new document for my pattern. That's pretty important because you want it to be a known size. I'll choose File and then New. I'm going to make my document 500 by 500 pixels in size. It's square and I'm going to make it 300 pixels per inch and I'm going to just have a white background to it. I'll click Create. So into this document, I'm going to place the first of my shapes. So we'll go back to the document that contains the shapes. And I'm just going to lasso around one of these. Now you could be creating dots or squares or anything you like for your pattern. I just happen to be using these leaves. I'm going to choose Edit Copy. Let's go back to our document. Let's choose Edit and then Paste. Now it's a little bit big, so I'm going to press Control T, Control Zero. That's Command T, Command Zero on the Mac and I'm just going to scale it down. Now in the most recent versions of Photoshop, you won't need to hold the shift key to scale it down in proportion. In earlier versions of Photoshop, you may need to hold the shift key. Just making sure that this is sort of centered in the document. You can see it's gone into its own layer. I'll go back and get the next leaf. So again, I'm going to my lasso tool. I'm going to lasso around the leaf to use. Control or Command C to copy it, Control or Command V to paste it in. Again, I'm just going to scale it so that it's approximately the same size as the other leaf. I'm going to place it centrally in the document. Now I'm going to use an offset filter to put this in the four corners. So with the layer that is containing this shape selected, I'm going to choose Filter, Other, and then Offset. And I'm going to set the offset value to half the width and height of the document. So the width and the height of the document are 500 each. And so I'm setting this to 250 and 250. Now what should happen is that these shapes should go into the four corners of the document exactly as you're seeing here. In Photoshop 2020, I found that that's been a bit of a mixed bag. Sometimes that works, sometimes it does not work. So you might need to persevere if you're using the most recent version of Photoshop to see that it does work for you. But this is what should happen. Now we're going to select everything with select and then all. And this is going to become our pattern. So we'll choose edit and then define pattern. And this is going to be version one of the leaves. This has only got two leaves in it. We need to make it bigger to contain more leaves. So we're going to set our next document size. We're going to create a brand new one, this time at 1,000 by 1,000. So this is one step larger than our 500 by 500. You will want to be using these same values so that you can scale yours up nicely. We'll click Create. And what we're going to do is fill this new document with our pattern. So we'll go to Edit and then Fill and we're going to choose our pattern, which is the last one in the Patterns dialog. So this is it here, and click OK. Now, I look like I've got a pattern option <laughs> selected, so let's just get out of there and let's try that again. Edit and then Fill. What I don't want to have selected is Script, so let me just turn that off, and we're just filling with a pattern. Let's click OK. This is what should happen. So what we've got is this leaf here, these two are the same leaf, and these two are the same leaf, and these in the corner are the same leaf. So what we can do is to start replacing these. So let's go back to our leaves, and I'm going to lasso this time a leaf I haven't used before, and again copy it. Go back into the second document that we've created, and I'm going to paste it in. I'm going to scale it so it's pretty much the same size as the other leaves. 
Now this leaf here is going to replace these two leaves because these are a pair. So let's go and undo our background layer just by clicking on its lock icon. In earlier versions of Photoshop, you might need to double click on it. Let's go and get our lasso tool. I'm going to lasso around this leaf here and just delete it. And I'm going to lasso around this one here and delete it. Now what I have to do is to put this one in its place. So I'm going to drag it across here and just position it sort of on the edge of the document. It doesn't matter too much where it is, it just has to be there. Let's go and make a duplicate of it. And what we're going to do with this duplicate is we're going to move it a thousand pixels because we know the document is a thousand pixels wide. So it just has to be moved across a thousand pixels. So with it selected, I'm going to choose edit and then free transform. Now I'm going to go up here and make sure that this little check mark here is selected so that we can do everything relative to the center point of this shape. And what we're going to do is add a thousand to whatever the current X value is. Now my current X value is zero because I've got it lined up on the edge. If it's not lined up on the edge, that's just fine provided it's an exact copy of the previous layer, then it's just perfect. And all we're going to do is add a thousand to whatever this was. For me, it was zero, so I'm just going to make that a thousand and I'll click the check mark. I don't want to change its vertical alignment. I just want to change its horizontal alignment. So this leaf has now become part of the pattern. I can take these two objects here and now I can just merge them into the background. So I'm actually going to select all three layers, right click and choose merge layers. And that's just merge them into a single layer. Of course, we still got some transparency here because of the shape I just deleted. If that worries you, then you can just click here on the check mark and we'll just fill this layer with white. And so then it's catching that transparency. So this is what our pattern's going to look like. We've got one, two, three different colored leaves, but we can still replace more. For example, we could replace these leaves here. Let's go back to our leaves. I'm going to select another one. So we're going to take this one here. Again, copy it. Again, going back into this master file and pasting it in. Now I've pasted it under everything, so I'm just going to move it up to the top. I'm going to select it and I'm just going to size it down. And I'm going to use it to replace a couple of these leaves. I'm actually going to use it to replace these two leaves, this one here and this one here. So I'm going to put it in position. I don't need to do anything too fiddly with it. So I'm just going to put it there and then I'm going to make a duplicate of this layer and I'm going to pull this one across to here. So this leaf is going to appear a little bit more in the pattern because it's replacing two of these leaves. Let's go back to the underlying layer, which is this one here. And we're just going to get rid of the two leaves that we've just replaced. So let's go and select this one and press delete and select this one and press delete. You just need to be a bit careful about making sure that you get rid of the things that you no longer need. Now we've got these three layers which all contain our pattern. Let's just right click and choose merge layers. So we've now got four leaves in our pattern. We can go back and replace yet another one. So let's go and get this leaf here. Again, copy and paste it. Again, resize it. Now I want to use it to replace all these corner objects because all four of these make up a single leaf. You'll see that this is the bottom corner. This is the left bottom corner, left top, right top. So this leaf is going to replace all of those. We're going to select it and we're going to apply our offset filter with filter, other, and then offset. Now in this case, the document is a thousand by a thousand. So half of that is going to be 500 and 500. And we just need to make sure that in this case, Photoshop is listening to us and it is actually breaking it up. This is working fine right now. As I said, Photoshop 2020 is a little bit notorious for this failing, but right now it's working just fine. So I'll click OK. So that leaf is now in all four corners. Let's just turn it off for a minute because for neatness sake, what we really need to do is to go and select and delete the leaves that are already in the corner. Let's just go and do that. 
So I'm just making a big drawing around that shape. Make sure I've got the layer selected and press delete. And go and do that here and here and here. And then make our layer visible and that's all back to rights. Now we still have a leaf that we could replace, which is this one here, or we could just replace the middle one. The middle one's going to be the easier of the two, so let's go and do that. And I still have one leaf left. So let's go and select around this, copy it, and place it, and put it in the middle of the document. Again, we're just going to size it down so it's roughly the same height as all the other leaves, so it makes sense. Let's make it, or we'll put it in position so it's pretty much centrally in this document. Let's go and hide everything. And we're just going to go and select this leaf because we can delete it. And then we'll turn everything back on. This is going to be our pattern. We're going to select everything, right click and merge it. Now before you do anything, it's a really good idea to make sure that this document is trimmed because another problem with the later versions of Photoshop is that they tend to sort of creep around and add some elements that are outside the edge of the pattern to the pattern. So let's go to the Crop tool. Let's make sure that it's not set to anything. It's just selected around the edge of the document. So we're going to press Enter twice to crop it. And that's got rid of anything that was around the edge of the document. This should be a seamless repeating pattern. Select all, edit, define pattern. And this is going to be our final leaf pattern. Let's go and create a document we can use, file and new. I'm going to make this scrapbook paper size, which would be 3600 by 3600 pixels. And let's fill it. I'll choose file and then fill. I'm going to choose my pattern, which is going to be the last in the pattern dialog here. Make sure script is not enabled and click OK. And then we just check it really carefully. And that's looking just fine to me. It doesn't look like any of these leaves are half a leaf or that they're not joining up perfectly. So I have a few more of this leaf in my design than the other leaves, but that's simply because I didn't have an extra leaf to use to replace it with. If I'd had more leaves in my original collection, I would have been able to create a slightly better result here in that I could have replaced this one with a different leaf and this one. So ideally, eight leaves would have been perfect. I only had six, so we're doubling up on this leaf here and this leaf here. It's just that the darker one is a little bit more obvious than this lighter one. It tends to blend in with the other leaves, so you're not seeing that there's more of these than the others, but you're certainly seeing that this is a little bit more prolific. So ideally, if you want to create a design like this, you probably want something like eight leaves to use, and then you'll get a really good design. If you're happy doubling up, then you can obviously double up. Just when you're creating your pattern, just be super, super careful to understand where these pairs are. This one, the other bits that are making up this leaf are the ones in the corner. This leaf, the other bit that's making up the other half of that is up here. This leaf here, the other half that's making up it is over here. And then these five in the middle are just whole leaves. So you can replace those with any whole leaf. They don't have to be split in half. You don't have to do anything fancy with them. I hope that this has helped you understand how you can make quite complex patterns in Photoshop, just building up the pattern as you go. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and that notification bell so you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.